Hey, what's going on, No Nation? It's CJ Wilson with the Roll Up Network. Here to bring you some breaking news. Jaheim Bell commits to FSU, uh, the big time tight end prospect that officially entered the portal out of South Carolina. Just made this announcement official after taking an official visit to FSU. He is a no. So let's talk about a little bit No Nation. Huh? We get the big time tight end prospect out of South Carolina. He has over 1,000 1, 1, total yards and 10 touchdowns within the last couple years. He's been a big time weapon for the South Carolina um, a premium athlete. But his production did drop a little bit this past year from the previous year. That's the reason why he entered the portal. Um, just in dealing with Frank Beamer, wasn't a fan in regards to the scheme and fit and how he's being used within the offense. And also, new quarterback coming over Spencer Rattle. But um, long story short, and, and previous to that, I know last year he had a huge bowl game against North Carolina, which kind of put everyone in regards to being aware of Jaheim Bell, the type of athlete he is and what he could do on the field, right? He had a lot of first round buzz coming into that, coming into this season. Production just wasn't where it was supposed to be, wasn't used properly. But again, that's the reason why he hit in the transfer portal. Just wanted to uh, showcase his skills and show what he could really do in regards to all that raw athleticism he has. And just speaking of his athleticism, just to kind of give you um, give you a, a picture of it and how 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 athletic he is and how well how we can use him all over the field. Uh, he started for running back for South Carolina when, it, when their starting running back uh, got hurt for a couple of games. Jaheim Bell was moved over to running back, and he was a starting running back for like two or three games. So that tells you everything you need to know in regards to what he can do with the ball in his his hands, the type of athlete he is, and things like that. Uh, F, he is familiar with FSU in regards to the recruiting process. Um, again, he's from Lake City, Florida, which is a couple hours down the road. Uh, played uh, ball at Valdosta, and it's, it's funny, his um, his high school quarterback for, um, at, at Valdosta was Tate Rodemaker, the uh, current FSU uh, quarterback. So there are some connections there to the staff and things like that. Uh, we were recruiting him, but at that point in time, he was strictly a receiver, around 6'3", 210 pounds or so. So there was um, just talks in regards to him not being a take or or being being a receiver that FSU was recruiting at that point in time. They didn't really extend the offer, uh, so they moved on to other receivers. Uh, in my opinion, at that point in time, I was a big fan of him. Um, I think he could have played receiver, but you can see the potential to bolster up to a tight end, which he's done at South Carolina. So, uh, a couple years later, we're back within. We, uh, we're back within Jaheim Bell. He ended up being a no at the end of the day, which all that's which all that matters. So, uh, a big time pickup for Mike Norvell and staff. They've been hot in the portal, recruiting their butts off. Um, a lot of um, the past couple of years, they've been uh, been able to identify talent in the portal and convert that talent into all conference type of players and draft picks for FSU. Getting a guy that Jaheim Bell, it shouldn't be any different. He's a premium type of athlete that should bolster his draft stock once he's within Mike Norville's offense. So speaking of Mike Norville's offense and how he fits within the offense, um, I don't. I've been an FSU fan all my life, and I can't remember the last time FSU had uh, an athlete like Jaheim Bell at the tight end position. The closest I think I can remember is probably Brandon Warren. The five-star uh, tight end receiver, excuse me, the, the five-star tight end out of Tennessee way back when. He ended up only playing one year at FSU and transferred to the Tennessee Volunteers. Uh, but just from an athletic standpoint, and I think Jaheim Bell is world's, is, is, is even more athletic than Brandon Warren was at the time. That just tells you in regards to FSU having had this type of player at the position, period. So you put that within Mike Norvell's offense, and you've seen how we try to get the, the uh, ball to the tight ends. And we, we had Cam McDonald, and, and just me, Personally, from looking at the FSU roster and going to spring practices and seeing um, how the team, just, just seeing the team in general, the tight end room was probably the worst overall room. Now, granted, we did have some big plays this year from Cam McDonald and a surprise from um, um, Douglas. Uh, so, with a Marquise Douglas. So, it's a lot of um, good pieces within the tight end room, but we need someone that can raise the ceiling a little bit higher, right? And this Jaheim Bell, he, he, he does just that. The stuff that we've seen uh, Douglas and, and Cam McDonald make um, this past season, you can add about 20 more yards there or, or a touchdown rather with Jaheim Bell with the ball with the ball that's in his hands. So you have Jordan Travers at quarterback. You have the running back room that's already set with Trey Benson, Lauren Torres Philly, um, Trayshawn Ward, things like that. The receiver room, of course, you have Johnny Wilson. You have um, we lose Pokey, of course, who's our only receiver, the only receiver that we're losing at this point in time. But we're playing similar with Winston Wright, who was probably our most explosive receiver coming into the season last year. But of course, he had that car accident that uh, that derailed his 2022 season. So we'll have him back for 2023. So you have um, Portier and, and just all the receivers together. Uh, McLean, we know the receiver room did leaps and bounds from the 2021 season to 22. All that production comes back. 
Michael Pittman, et cetera, et cetera. So you you pretty much have to be completely completely honest in regards to the offense when you throw in the Jaheim Bell in the fold because he brings another dimension to the offense to where linebackers can't keep up with him. Safeties are too small with to, to, to are too small to um, check him because he's 6'3", 230, can box him out, things like that. So he's just a guy that you get the ball got the ball and he's ball into his hands. Excuse me, he can take it from fifty yard a twenty you make a twenty yard play and turn it to a fifty yard play to a touchdown. Just that type of explosiveness. So again, it's it, in regards to um, a defense coordinator and how you attack FSU. It's only certain th you you can only take away so much, right? Or try to take away so much. If you try to take away Johnny Wilson or receivers or or, or shadow a safety over him, do you have Jaheim Bell who can eat you up around the middle or any other receivers? Or if you try to take too much in regards to okay, we know these running backs are really good. Let's put seven in the box. We're just going to eat you up on the outside. So you have to be completely honest. You can't really tip your hat one way or another if you're a defensive coordinator so what that does for fsu they can pick their poison do whatever they want to pass it run it um tight end receiver it doesn't matter jordan travis um pull it, it, whatever you want to do with the offense you could do because the defense is so honest and they have to play everything they have to respect everything they can't really take away or lean towards one way or the other because if they do you expose them on the back end with, with, with your other weapons because the offense is just so complete. So, again, this is a big-time commit for FSU. Really excited to see what he does within this offense. Um, better, uh, best, best quarterback he had, he, he, he's had by far within his career, his career within uh, Jordan Travis. Uh, better, um, how can I put it, better playmakers around him and receivers and running backs. And, of course, my Mike Norville, I feel like that would be the best offensive coach by far that he's had. Uh, so, you give Mike Norville all of these toys. He said we have a playmaker. He said his offense – is um offense built for playmakers? Well, we have the playmakers now. So we'll see what we can do with it within the 2023 season. A lot of excitement around No Nation right now. So again, like this video, subscribe to the channel. There'll be a lot more coming. Go Nose.